This week, I'm in Southampton, famous for its rich maritime heritage and focus on water sports, sailing and ocean racing, as well as being one of the most important ports in the UK. Today, I'm at SWAC, Southampton Water Sports Activity Centre, joined by two instructors who want to share their sailing stories. Hi there, I'm here with Abby today, just going to ask you a couple of questions. How are you doing, Abby? You all right? I'm doing all right, how are you? Good, good. Uh, how, I just want to ask, how did you get into sailing? So I moved from London to the south coast when I was seven and my mum saw boats on the water and she was like, in you get. Oh, and go for it. it. So yeah. you, you were born into it pretty much? Pretty yeah. much, yeah. Yeah, nice, yeah. nice. <laughs> Um, what would you say to any young kids trying to get into sailing? I think it's a fantastic thing to get into. It opens so many doors in the future, introduces you to careers you didn't even know existed. And I would say just go for it. Right, so we've come out into the compound to try and find a man called David. See what he's up to. Let's go. Hello. Hi, David, yeah. is it? Yes, yeah, David. Hey, mate, you're right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Tom. Here awesome. with David today. He's, uh, are you the manager here? Or? Uh, so I'm lead instructor here at SWAT. Lovely. Right, so I've just got a couple questions for you, if that's all right. Awesome, yeah. So uh, I was going to ask, how did you get into sailing? Uh, so I started sailing when I was, like, tiny. Um, mm. Learned to sail my dad. Nice. Um, so I spent most of my childhood on the water, yeah. really. Would you say you were born into um, it then? Yeah, very much so, yeah. I'm with Jacob today. How you doing, Jacob? You all right? Good, thank you. Not bad. Good, good. So I wanted to ask, how did you get into sailing? I got into sailing, I've been sailing for about 10 years now. We used to competitively, weekly. Now that I've got a bit older, I'm 18, now we sort of taken on the leisure side of it to actually enjoy it a bit more. So yeah. Would you prefer leisure sailing or competitive races? I used to enjoy the competitiveness of it, a sporty person, enjoy it. But now, as I've got a bit older, just to enjoy, take your time, I actually enjoy it, it's much nicer. Do you do any competitions in sailing at all? I used to, I used to race competitively, yes. and I have been an international race coach in two countries, Qatar oh, and Malta. Oh, sweet, do you do any leisure sailing as well? Not so much anymore, no. I do a lot of coaching. Um, I used to do quite a lot of sort of like club level racing, mm. um, but I mostly sort of do more leisure stuff. Yeah, definitely, um, yeah. Sort of go away on my boat, nice. camping. Oh, you, um, you own a boat as well? Yeah, yeah. So nice. I've got a little twelve-foot sort of classic oh, clinker-looking nice. boat. And I wanted to ask as well, what do you do for work? For work, I'm a marine engineer over in Lymington. Uh, so I'm day in, day out on MOD boats, engines, all that good stuff. So would you prefer power boats or sail boats? Personally, I prefer power boats, but I can still always appreciate a sailing boat. Absolutely. And last question, what would you say to new kids looking to get into sailing? New kids getting into it, just surround yourself with it, throw yourself straight into it, enjoy it, even if you might not get it at first, keep trying. Yeah, so what boats have you got in the compound? We've got a huge variety, so we have loads of single-handed boats, they are designed for one person to sail, mm -hmm. and we have a range for beginner-friendly boats up to racing boats, and then the same for our double-handed boats, again, beginner to racing level, and mm -hmm. they're boats for multiple people to Lovely. sail. Have you got any favourites, maybe? My favourite is probably the Aero, it's set mm -hmm. up for foiling, so it's one of the boats awesome. that can lift up the water and fly about uh, a metre above it, which is great. Fancy. Have you got any fond memories you want to share, or any disasters at sea? I've experienced many disasters, because I've been working in for the past five years so I've experienced tornadoes I've been struck by lightning myself Seriously. while in Greece so that was an interesting experience for yeah. sure have you got any fond memories out on the water um yeah so quite a few really just you know places like going sailing in Pool Harbour to Chester Harbour mm, lovely yeah sailing from one destination to a beach mm. rock up yeah. on the beach for lunch barbecue um yeah whack a barbecue oh, on the lovely, beach yeah um and yeah just that sort of very Using, using sailing as a, an escape and nice yeah, chill. Yeah, definitely. No, I respect Chill that. day on the water. Lovely. Right. Well, that is all. Thank you for joining me. I thought you very welcome. Enjoy your day. Thank you. And you. So there we have it. A big thank you to SWAC for having me this afternoon. And if you're looking into getting into sailing, no matter what age, ability or confidence, it's never too late. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next week.